Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's see if we can make it up to the Skyhold docked at Eternia Central Command. Now, on this floor, we're going to be starting to run into larger groups of the Imperials here. So, what I want to do is, will depend on what we encounter. Fortunately, at this point, you see these guys don't have a ton of speed, and now that we've gained quite a few more levels, we have more speed than most of them would. So let's see, at this point, let's see, how are we doing on HP there? Okay, we're nearly at max HP for uh, Adia and Tiz anyway. So let's see, if I go with, let's see, four physical attacks, I think that'll be enough to get the job done. So how about we do this? Because Trample, its damage is proportional to your current HP. So, let's see, let's go one on the Stab, one on the X, and then two on the Spear. Like, if any enemy has more than 220 HP or so, I probably wouldn't be able to one-shot them with a physical attack. But since a couple of them do have went relatively low HP, my physical attacks will get the job done. Now, I know what you're thinking here. H.C. Bailey, why did you use your physical attacks instead of magic against them? Because there's so much more of them. Your spirit magic could really clean them up quite easily. And yeah, that is true. But there's another enemy that uh, would be more difficult for me to kill with physical attacks. So I want to save my magic for later okay so here yeah i think we're good yeah i don't even need to use like lightning dart or anything against these guys since i'm faster than the stabs now i mean it's still possible that they could get a physical or get a silent spell off before my mages can cast their spells but i don't think that all i don't think that's very likely so i think we'll be fine Okay, and then, yeah, two on the X this time, because that guy has quite a bit more HP. I think we'll be okay here. Or maybe not. Or I could get a crit. Hey, all right. Yeah, if I didn't get one of those two crits at the end there, I probably would have been screwed out of fighting another consecutive battle. Okay, there's the guy I'm worried about, the Imperial Shields, because they've got a lot more physical defense there. And all of these guys are weak to thunder. So let's use lightning on them. And I don't care which one does it. Whoever goes first wins, I guess. Okay, one more consecutive battle. And I think that that'll be good. Maybe I could get a, uh, a half seas on these guys. Although Magnolia doesn't have it. And even if she did, I probably still wouldn't want to do that anyway, because the Imperial Stab has a lot more magic defense than physical defense, so sometimes it might take me four lightning spells to kill them, but, well, this time it didn't. But now, yeah, we're way in negative BP, so let's just call it here and move along then, shall we? And I'll probably need to heal up a bit, but let's see how we're looking here first. Okay, so, yeah, you definitely needs the healing. Let's see, maybe Tiz? Yeah, let's just heal everyone. We've got more potions than I'll ever use. I mean, I might use all of them, but probably not. They are not too good to use, unlike ethers, which are. So, yeah, we'll just leave that alone. So far, so good with the MP supply, but let's keep an eye on that. We're getting a little light on MP there. Okay, well, here's a, another battle here where we got the Brave Attack right at the start. So we have one additional BP to start the battle. Hooray! So let's see, with these guys... Let's see, I'm trying to think how I can kill them with just the attacks I've got. Okay, so what I want to do is have everyone only take one action in the round. So that way they're all at zero BP going into the next consecutive battle there. So I'm going to use one lightning spell, then 
one trample and then another lightning and another trample there. So make sure we take out the stab because they're not weak to lightning. The two lightning spells will not be enough to kill them on their own. The only problem is, is if the spear used mow down on us, because no one is defaulting there, we would probably take a lot of damage from that. But we got lucky, we acted before they do. And they've got a bit of speed too, we're pretty close to us. There is some variance with how turn order works with your speed. Generally, characters with more speed will act sooner, but not necessarily so. There is some variance to that. Okay, so now we can fight the battles as normal. I think we can do this with just two physical attackers there, though I am a little concerned about use HP. But since he's defaulting there, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so who's got the big HP this time? The blade. Okay, so let's start with the staff. Then the X, and then two more on the blade there. And I'll do the same thing with Tiz, just in case he might act before Adia does. He probably won't, but, well, he might. We'll see what happens. I don't want to use my lightning here. I want to save that for Imperial Shields, if necessary. Well, that works. Yeah, I barely had enough damage to not require the fourth trample, but I probably would have most of the time. Okay, so we got the shields here. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's just keep going with more lightning and thunder! Or is it thunder and whatever. We'll kill them all all the same. Hooray! Easy enough. Okay, so with this one, hmm, I'm a little concerned about my HP here. I think I could kill the stab and the spear with tramples, but not the shield. That would take quite a bit more. So I think I have to go with four lightnings and hope everything doesn't hit me. Ow. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're good. We made it. Like, if the Imperial Shield attacked you, that could get a little dicey there. Or if the save got Silence off. But it looks like, yeah, we'll be in the clear. These guys have relatively low HP. We can take them down with just my physical attacks. I'm thinking if I wanted to use a potion on you there. But actually, how about we try this? Let's go half seas with the potion. And I'm pretty sure I can kill all these guys with one trample each. Because they all have relatively low HP. So sometimes you want to check that out. Just to make sure that you can get the job done. But yeah, unfortunately you can't use halfsies. Outside of battle there. If only there were an ability that would let me use items on the entire party. Outside of battle. But sadly we don't have one. So for now, yeah, we're going to be calling it. Just a little light on HP there, especially for you. Hey, we got the Vining Rod for Tiz. Not that I'm really going to use it that much. Especially once I actually get useful support skills, but it's there. Okay, so as far as HP goes, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need to heal up you, and then everyone else is fine. Maybe I could use a half seas in the next battle to top things off. Now, at this point, we're starting to get pretty low on MP. Normally, I would go to the left to get to the Outer Rim and get some the last of those treasures there, but I want to make it all the way to the Adventure right in the middle of this floor, so that way I can use a cottage and rest up. Then I'll pick up all the treasure. Okay, well, here we got... Uh, an Imperial Shield right off the bat. Let's see. This might be a good opportunity for me to show you guys something that uh, someone was asking me before. So let's see. Let's just go with Triple Lightning. I don't want to use my physical attacks here because the spear just has too much HP and the shield for that matter. I'd never kill them with one character with my physical attacks alone. 
So, well, that's why we've got lightning. So that we can deal with this guy. Okay, very nice there. It might take four lightnings to kill those guys sometimes. Okay, so at this point, yeah, we got a little bit of a problem because we're pretty low on characters that have lightning available now. Although all of these guys are weak to lightning. Let's see, for now... Yeah, I'll go with four lightnings. That'll kill all of these guys. Ow. Okay, we got him. Okay, well, if I run into any more shields now, that would be a problem, because I don't have lightning anymore to deal with them. So, let's see. How's the HP looking? Okay, I might be able to kill them all with just one character. If I use a special ability, Weapon Toss! Let's see how that works on these guys. Let's go one on the stab, then one on the spear, because they have relatively low HP now. And then I'm going to use our new Weapon Toss ability. It lets you throw, battle, or throw items to win battles, or throw battles if you throw the wrong weapons. But, uh, okay, so let's go with Moonglaive. I want to use this against the shields to pierce their physical defense. And I think this will be enough to take him out. I'm not entirely sh certain of that, though. So let's have Tiz try to do the same thing. Attack the other Imperials first, and then throw some weapons. Now, when I try to do this, I've already selected the weapon for Idea to throw, but I can still select it myself in the event that Tiz randomly ends up acting before Adia there. But then if she tries to throw the weapon in the same battle, then it'll just fizzle. It'll do nothing because you don't have the weapon there anymore. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, what happens if you throw a weapon in one battle and then you fight a consecutive battle can you have the weapons available to throw again in that next one? Is it like between each of those consecutive battles or is it at the very end of all of them that it does it all at once? And the answer is between battles. So yeah, anytime you get to the victory screen after winning a battle, you will pick up all the weapons that you threw automatically there. So that's pretty nice. Another thing you could do is uh, let's see. Uh, well, I don't have the ability yet, but there's an, another ability that you can learn, Retrieve Weapon, to manually pick up all the weapons that you've already thrown in that battle. And that way, you don't have to... Uh, what, yeah, you don't have to win the battle to get your weapons back. You can just pick them up manually. But there's really no reason I would ever want to do that. So, kind of pointless, really. Okay, so the problem here is that the spear has just a little bit more HP than I'd like. I might not be able to kill them with just a trample, but I am pretty close to max HP. That's what I was checking out there. So we'll see how that goes and go from there. Okay, so I should be able to kill the shield like this. Uh, weapon Toss is purely based on the attack stat of the weapon being thrown. Ha-ha! Got them all! Woohoo! And yeah, we're calling it there. I'm not gonna sit at negative three BP all day. But yeah, let me know what you think about me showing different ways of handling battles like that, even if it is the same types of enemies just to show you different circumstances dealing with adversity and all that i'm pretty sure i can make it to the adventurer from here so i'm just gonna keep on going almost there whoa Whoa! what's that sound is it a load-bearing boss let's find out you the pendant what about it dude what if i don't want to press x what happens if I press Y? Oh, okay, that happens automatically. Sorry, d d didn't mean to surprise you there, Agnes. The floor is trembling. Oh, well, how's that? You're in the air. How does it even work? The sky hold, it's moving. 
not. They're getting away with her holiness. We have to hurry. Her holy holiness or just her regular holy? Hold your horses, you. Ah. Rushing leads to carelessness and carelessness to trouble. Indeed. But, but, Tis, sir, if we don't move fast, Pope Anya's... Yeah, that would be a problem. I know, but being fast doesn't mean being careless. I always tell myself, hustle, don't hurry. Now well, you would now. So let's hustle, everyone. After me, you. You got it, sir. How's this for hustle? Here we go! Hey. These two are just full of energy, Miss Pat. Well, yeah, I mean, we are JRPG protagonists. That's why we have trouble sleeping at night. You is one thing, but it's not often you see Tiz get so passionate. Well, yeah, with Agnes and everything. It's not the first time he's answered the call of booty. Now I'm getting fired up, too. Just wait, Agnes. We'll get you out of there. I mean, Tiz has played this JRPG before, literally. But, uh, okay, so, what about the pendant there? Oh, okay, don't you... Or wait, no, Anya's had the one before, but, uh, okay, sure. What do you mean? Can you enlighten me? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, dude, where are you going? Why did he want the pendant for himself? Don't answer that, viewers. No, I don't think so. I don't think you want to watch what he's doing. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. But, uh, how important could it possibly be? We just talked to her! I, I don't think he needs protecting. Yeah, probably not. Ha ha. Your chance for what? <laughs> okay, come on, let's make it. Okay, we made it to the adventure. How are we looking here? Pretty good. As far as my jobs are concerned, let's see. Okay, we've almost gotten up to level five. That'll be good for both of my wizards there. And let's see, with Freelancer, I think I'm just gonna leave them there. I want to keep working up to learning JP up. That's really the big prize I'm looking at. The Waste Knot is actually uh, an interesting ability, too, that I use every now and then. Kind of like the freebies in Mario RPG. Can't wait to play the uh, remake. But for now, let's uh, just rest up here, and then we'll start collecting more treasure while we're at it. Let's see. Yeah, 50p at this point is not much to worry about. But now that we're fighting these consecutive battles, we're getting more and more pig per battle, or even experience, and JP. So money problems will become a thing of the past, fortunately. It's also one of the reasons I'm playing the game as overpowered as I am there. Oh yeah, whenever you go to the save screen, you get a little message on the bottom there. Some useful information. Just little helpful tips every now and then in general. Nothing specific. There is a treasure to the right there, but I'm going to pick that up on the return trip. So let's just get out of here and get more treasure. Hey, there we go. And after that battle, we learned Spellcraft for both of the Wizards and Dungeon Master. Just like the first game, it protects you from damage tiles or, well, whatever the term would be, damage terrain, like poison floors or walking on lava or whatever. It protects you from any damage you would have otherwise taken there. But all right, so now that we're done with the Wizard job class for a little bit, well, let's see what we got. We got something special going on at the moon base. What do we got here? Hey, hey, all right. We finished the trigger lab there. So really, the only thing I want to get out of this is the default trigger there. 
That's really the main thing because it makes it really easy to manually build up your special moves there. There's also another one item that could be useful as well, but that won't be useful for a very, very long time. So I don't really need that right now or even in remotely in the near future. But for now, this will suffice. Okay, so we got all that. And yeah, we're all at, or well, close to max HP there. And we didn't really use a whole lot of uh, MP while we were at it too. Hooray! Okay, so we gotta get back to the left or the outer rim of the floor there. Yeah, sometimes it can be kind of tricky to see where you can pass through. Use a map. All right, and after that battle, uh, let's see. Yeah, I was mentioning how we got up to level five wizard there. I actually want to change up my job class at this point for my wizards. I meant to do it before, but uh, I forgot. Whoops. But uh, yeah, I want them to go work on charioteer just for a little while. So that way we can learn triple wield for them. And that'll be really nice for boosting their magic attack there. So for my support skills, what I want to use is Spellcraft. So let's get that going. I don't want to equip uh, Damage Dispersion because that'll actually disperse some of the damage to Edia and Tiz, whose trample depends on their HP staying high. But now I've got the Spellcraft ability. I can... Mostly pass on my magical ability over to the charioteer, even though they're not really a magic wielding job class. There's still some stuff that's pretty good for them there. So let's do that with Magnolia as well. I would like to get up to level three for triple wield for them before we get to the end of this place. That would be nice. And I probably should have more than enough. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, you go to Charioteer there. Make sure you set Spirit Magic for secondary so you can keep on using your magic and set Spellcraft so we could use that as well. That's probably not as important now that we're further into the dungeon, but you might as well use it. I might use it, who knows? Okay, so we got that. And then, okay, yeah, we've got a lot of potions here. Let's see. I don't think Magnolia needs to be healed up. She'll be fine. Okay, so we've got all that. And then, let's see. Let's go on up here. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a discontinuity between what we're doing and what actually just happened with the, the Skyhold moving away there. Because, well... The game will wait, <laughs> so don't worry about it. This isn't Final Fantasy VI. What do I look like, a waiter? But here we got some Lamel armor, so we can get a little upgrade there for Tiz. Hooray! Not that it's really that extraordinary, but we've got nothing else. Okay, so there is one more treasure on this floor. That's the blue chest from before, so... As much as it bothers your OCD, and I know it bothers me too, just realize it's... It's okay. It's okay. We got one more down here. down to one HP exactly whatever but uh yeah that just didn't work out there I, I tried to use a high potion there to boost Tiz's HP 
to boost the damage of Trample enough to be able to kill the guy. I was a little concerned about the HP, though I didn't think it was going to be that close. But, uh, yeah, that happens. Yeah, I don't really care about the physical attack boost for the wizards there. And by the way, I, I suppose it should be obvious, but, uh, let's see, charioteers are much less skilled at magic, even with the abilities that I've got. So, like, let's see, yeah, you see there, as a wizard, we have twice as much intelligence as we would otherwise. So, you want to be a little more careful with using your magic. Four lightning spells should still be enough to defeat an Imperial Stave, let's say, but it might not be enough. So, yeah, just be careful. Make sure you've given yourself enough leeway for error there. But, uh, okay, so we got one more over here. Very nice. Now I get the ether when I don't need it. Well, I mean, I could have needed it before, but I wouldn't have wanted to use it. Too good, too good. Even if only just to sell it. It's worth good money. By the way, as far as uh, weapon toss goes, uh, what is it? That can crit also, oddly enough. Sometimes you can get lucky with that. Oh, I'm one JP away from learning triple wheel? Aw, oh, man. I might not even get another battle by the time I get to the end of this place. I mean, I might, but... Well, we'll see. If I don't, then I'll just fight one more battle. Not even a consecutive battle. And just go with that. And by the way, uh, four lightnings is not enough to kill an Imperial Stave. I was thinking of, like, an, a blade or something there. So, yeah, if you're going to be using lightning as a charioteer to possibly kill an Imperial Stave, you're going to need the other uh, wizard to help out with that. So, whoops. But, uh, all right, so we got the last of the treasures around here. Can we get one more? There we go, one more battle. That'll get the job done. I'm not even going to fight a consecutive battle there. Although, in this case, uh, I could use the help, but yeah, I don't have any MP to do anything with. So, we'll just leave well enough alone there. How much HP do these guys got? Wow, they've got a lot of HP. Oh, that's because they got a blade, not a stave there. Okay. So, yeah, why don't we just go with two on the blade, two on the spear, and we'll just leave the Imperial Shield for Magnolia to kill. So let's go... Well, I could use lightning on everyone. That probably would work here. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is the battle that I was thinking about with four lightning spells being enough to kill all the enemies. But not a stand. No, they got way too much magic defense for us to power through that. But, uh, okay, we'll go like that. Lightning goes first. Very nice. All right, got him. Yeah, no more battles. I don't want to get more overpowered. But, all right, so we learned Triple Wield for you and Magnolia there. Okay, now we can get the setup going. Huh, for some reason, I, it feels like the encounter rate was a bit higher on the return trip than it was to get there in the first place. Huh. Well... Reminds me of Legend of Dragoon. There was actually a reason in that one, but not here. Okay, so as far as my setup goes before we're getting ahead, or, yeah, go on ahead there. Let's uh, change our setup a bit. We're done with Charioteer. I don't actually need Triple Wield right now. I mean, I'll equip it, but I just wanted to get it out of the way so that way I don't have to deal with it later because I'm going to have other things that I'll want to do. So let's go back to Wizard. Let's see. Okay, so we've got all this. Let's go with miscellany there on you. And then, well, we don't need spellcraft. We couldn't even equip it because it's the pit innate passive ability of the wizard there. So I think you're good there. Let's see. With Adia there, you're a freelancer. I think I'll just leave her as is. Let's see. We got the physical attack and 
triple wield going on there. Let's see, for Magnolia. Yeah, let's go back to Wizard. By the way, you could just use the circle pad left or right to shift between job selection and ability selection or equipment and all that. You don't have to back all the way out and then select another menu. I just forget to do that every now and then. Okay, so we got that. Let's get you triple wield, even though I don't have anything to do with that right now. Same thing for you, too. Let's get you the one there. I'll list my setup in the video description there so you don't need to watch out for that let's see with tiz you're a freelancer with warfare as usual and then yeah just get those support abilities that's all good let's go take a look at our equipment then okay so for you yeah we're good to go there let's see we got iron knuckle you can equip almost whatever you want let's see what we got here Oh, well, an oaken pole could do, too. How's the mace looking? Yeah, that's a bit weaker. I think I'll just uh, stick with the axe there. And then, let's see. Okay, laminal armor, mittens, you're good to go. Let's see, for Magnolia, I may want to have her switch to a staff at some point. But for right now, we'll just stick with the rod. Pun intended. And then, let's see, all the magic equipment, good. Okay, then we want you on Iron Knuckles. Let's see how these weapons compare there. Actually, the Moonglaive is a little stronger there. But the Isino Kami has a better crit rate. So I think I'm just going to leave that there. I wonder if the Moonglaive would... Yeah, that would be a little better than that. Let's go with that then instead. But yeah, for Tiz... Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, really the big thing with katanas, they got the crit rate of 15%, and it stacks with other sources. It can get pretty obscene way later in the game, but not right now. Okay, I think our setup is good to go. Yep, I definitely need to rest up. Holy cow, I used up a lot of MP. Just trying to keep up with my wizard damage there. But all right, yeah, let's uh, save up and head on to, well, not really a, a throne room, a council room, whatever they called it in the first game. Let's see. So just like the first game, flip the switch and the elevator goes up. Uh-oh, it's getting symmetrical here. The sky hold is just on the other side. We're almost there. And we don't have any music going, though. This is where we give them gravy! Uh, I don't think they're gonna exchange Agnes for gravy. Let's put our powers together and get Pope Agnes out of there! Hey! Afraid I can't let that happen. What the? Oh, nice outfit you got there now. Jen. Change your color palette. I see you've made yourself some new friends. Well, I had to. You killed all the other ones. Thanks for reminding me. Even managed to dig up two warriors of light. Impressive. Well, we didn't exactly have to dig. More like swimming. The Kaiser was right. You're proving a real thorn in our side. What do you mean? We haven't even done anything to you yet. I mean, we're going to. Guess I'll just have to take care of you before you cause any real problems. Nuts. Besides, the guy dropped meteors on my head. That still wasn't enough. What more do you want? You know this man, you? Yep. He's my friend. Or was. Before he... Before he... Turned to the dark side? No. I still don't want to believe it. Why? Tell me why, Jen. For money or power? How could you betray us? I told you, didn't I? I made up my mind a long time ago. Oh, okay. That was my plan from the beginning. Reduce the Crystal Guard to shambles. Well, you didn't have to wait so long. From the inside out. That's... Well, yeah, so even during the demo, Jan was already plotting our downfall. So, yeah, he's a real jerk. Think what you will of me. The wolf walks his own path. Well, not for long. 
Now enough chit chat. Let's get this over with. Get what over with? On your guard, you. Boss time! That's what we're gonna get over with. Against Jan. So this is the first real instance where we can actually put our special moves to use. I'm only going to use a level 1 special move since that's usually what, all I have by this point. But I'm not even going to use the special moves right away. You'll see why. This is one of the more difficult boss fights in the game in my opinion. What do you mean you don't believe me? Not that the fight is that hard, just we don't have a lot to work with here. Okay, so for now... Let's see, at this point, Jan has zero BP, so he might default, but I don't think so. So I'm still going to just have everyone default here. Okay, so now he used that Blazing Wolf that will change him to Wolf Stance, which means he has more of a physical attack power there. Let's see, so if he's in Wolf Stance, chances are he's going to attack soon. But I don't want to uh, attack just yet. I want to build up my BP and then unleash it all at once. Okay, that was pretty rare. Usually with Jan, if he has Wolf Stance, he'll go on the attack. But he defaulted instead. But in any case, he's got one BP. I'm pretty sure he's not going to default again, so let's go all out, see what we can do to him. Well, maybe not all out, but a lot out. Okay, so let's see. If I go lightning, hammer, he's not weak to anything. Actually, how about we do this? Let's go examine. Oh, hold on. Let's go examine and then lightning hammer. So we'll probably deal more damage with that than we would with our other options there. But we're not going to be killing this guy in one round. No. This fight's going to take a while. Okay, then with Adia there, yeah, let's just go all out with Tramples. You only want to go down to negative one BP, so that way you'll regenerate a BP after the round is over, and then you'll be back up to zero, and you can keep going about your business. Whoops. Okay, so with Magnolia, let's just go with one Lightning Hammer. That'll be enough. And then with Tiz, we'll go Triple Trample. So basically, if Jan has more than zero BP, and you have two or three BP, that means you can attack, and he probably won't be defaulting. Very nice. But it would be nice to see what his HP is. Okay. So, yeah, you see he's got uh, well, about the same physical and magic defense. Ow! Holy cow! Now, one thing he did there, because he used... Uh, he attacked there, he... His buffs changed. That's part of his mechanics, where if he's in wolf stance, then he uses wolf fang. I think he used it there. That'll switch him to Orox stance, which has a defensive buffs there. So now he's almost certainly going to use Wolf Stance again, or Blazing Wolf, to get in there. But at this point, I don't have enough BP to really want to attack him, so I can't really take advantage of it. So what I want to do is use a bunch of potions here. So let's see, if I go... Yeah, I'm just a little concerned about my... Uh, my actions or my BP at this point. Okay, how about we go two potions on Idea, one on Tiz there. So we'll go like that, and then Tiz can take care of himself. Uh, let's see, Jan will not be attacking us this round. Goes into Wolf Stance. There we go. So yeah, this fight is a little tricky if you don't know how his mechanics work, but once you figure it out, then it's easier. Okay, so this round he's probably going to default. So why don't we just have everyone all of us default since if he's defaulting, I'm not going to deal very much damage to him anyway. Although, yeah, sometimes he does attack like that. 
Okay, there we go. He defaults. Now we can go all out. Let's go double lightning hammer on him. And then let's see, with Adia, let's see, I need to heal up a little bit. How much damage did you take there? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're going to need a whole potion just for yourself there. Okay, so let's, oh, no, I want to do more than that. So potion, let's see, three tramples, that'll get the job done. Okay, with Magnolia then, let's go, just a lightning hammer. It doesn't matter what elements you use, Jan doesn't have an elemental weakness. I'm just using lightning, just because I love shoving lightning bolts up his ass. Okay, and then with Tiz, you're pretty close to your max HP, right? Yeah, he'll be fine. We'll just go triple trample. That'll be good enough. And I think we're good. Let's see what we can do here. Very nice. Wow, look at that damage. Holy cow. Yeah, nothing I could do about that. I was fully healed. Even if I defaulted, I probably would have still died anyway. Okay, well, this will take a little longer now then. Okay, so I need to heal up Tiz and you. So how about we do this? We'll go Phoenix down. Oh, no, not on Nadia. She's already alive. And then get a potion. Maybe even a high potion on Tiz. No, just a regular potion will do. Okay, so we'll go with that. So yeah, Phoenix Down will always revive you with 200 HP. Unless you have, like, something modifying it or something. Okay, and then with you... Let's see, Jan will probably still default here. Or he might, anyway. So why don't we heal up a little bit? Let's go two potions on... Well, nah, one potion will be enough. Just do that. And everyone else default. Man, you really want him dead. I, uh, I don't think there's a specific mechanic for that. But, okay. So now he's in Orox stance. Again, he's probably not going to default, though. So how about we go with a few tramples here. And then, yeah, why don't you go Phoenix down to heal up or revive him, and then heal him up. Hopefully he won't die again. Okay, and then, yeah, a few tramples there. That ought to be good enough. All right, very nice. I wanted to make sure he was revived first. All right, got him. Jan, are you all right? Am I all right? I was just trying to kill you, you a little. Me? Your enemy? What a dupe. Ha uh -huh. I'm just worried about you. That's why you're a dupe. Yeah. And you're about to get burned. Why? Resurrect. What the? Where'd that just come from? Like that. What? Took you long enough, old man. But I am here, am I not? Just as promised. It can't be. Oh, you got a color palette change too you died I'm Nikolai no you're alive I thought I'd never see you again nor I you master you yet I fear this will not prove a pleasant reunion for either of us what do you mean that is why I warned you yes twice if I recall to leave this battle behind you I can't sir Nikolai I had hoped to spare you the painful truth but there is no point in concealing it any further. What do you mean? I, too, stand with the Empire. Not This This can't be. That day in the Sanctum, you, you told me to live. I did. Was it all a lie, Sir Nikolai? On the contrary, I meant every word. Gosh. The last thing I wanted was for us to fight, Master Yu. Then don't. That is why I feigned death as I did. Ah. Why I went to such lengths to persuade you to abandon this fight. Yet it seems my actions have had the worst possible outcome. What do you mean? This is of grave import. So I will say it once more, for good measure. Master Yu, give up this fight. 
Never! You are my advice. And we will have no choice but to kill you. What? Just as we did our comrades. Save your breath, old man. Once he set his mind to something, there's no change in it. Wow. So stop standing there like a dupe and let's finish this. Holder of the Fencer Asterisk. The Blazing Wolf of the Glance Empire, Jan on guard. Whoa. And holder of the Bishop Asterisk. The Empire's stalwart Oryx, Nikolai Nikolonikov. Yeah. Jim, Nikolai, the three cavaliers, our, our friendship, was it all a lie? Yep. Uh, what's so hard to get? Pull yourself together, you. That's right, you. We have a battle to fight. But I... You! We're with you! Right. Damn it. I am Eugenie Olja, leader of the Crystal Guard's three cavaliers. No. I am Eugenie Olja, of Anius's Avengers. And in the name <laughs> of her holiness, I will strike you down! Okay, so now, at this point, with Nikolai joining the battle, this is where I want to use my special moves. So let's see what we got. We want to take out Nikolai as quickly as possible. So let's see, as far as my HP goes, let's see, I could probably use a potion. And Tiz could probably use a potion. Maybe I could use a uh, half seas at some point. Actually, I could just use it right now. Why not? Okay, so let's go half seas, potion. That should top us off decently as well, anyway. And then now, let's use piercing bolt on Nikolai there. And then follow that up with lightning hammer. The nice thing about Piercing Bolt, or any special move, they'll have a buffing effect on the whole party there. And you can stack multiple special moves buffs on top of each other. So let's go with Moonbeam on Nikolai there. Now with Magnolia, she still has the rods there. I could switch to a staff for a healing special move. Though, we're doing pretty good on HP right now, so I don't think that's necessary. Let's go all out on Nikolai there. Oh, you know, I want to get uh, an examine in on Nikolai too. Okay, well, how about we do this? Go there. Then, let's see, who has the BP to spare? Yeah, I suppose I could skip the potion. Yeah, I can skip the potion. Let's just go Piercing Bolt, Lightning Hammer! Oh, right, I need to get the Examine in there. Examine. Piercing Bolt, Lightning Hammer. Okay, that should at least put a big dent in Nikolai's HP there. Alright, who wants a beat it? So, not only do special moves deal a lot more damage, they also buff the party too. You see, we got the physical attack buff out of that as well. Say your prayers. And now with piercing bolt, we get the magic attack buff on top of that too. And yeah, we'll kill Nikolai pretty quickly there. I don't know what she was saying. French, some something special. I'm guessing. for you. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, don't I have another attack left? Overkill! You have grown strong indeed, Master Yu. Ha ha! Now, one of the things that Nikolai could have done if I left him live long enough is he could cast I forget what it's called, Holy Knight or something? That if you, if he cast it on Jan. When he defaults and you attack him, he'll get a massive amount of healing, like 900 or something ridiculous like that. Okay, so now let's uh, just use our physical attacks on Jan there. Meanwhile, let's go Phoenix down potion on you there. And then we'll get a couple more tramples on Jan. Because I know he's going to use Wolf Stance now. Jan's mechanics don't change at all once Nikolai shows up. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's go with a Lightning Hammer. 
the reason why I'm using more attacks at lower DP now is because once this special music runs out, the buffs run out too. Let's do that. So I gotta be a little fast here. Maybe speed up the animation. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get out of it. So now, yeah, all the buffs are gone. Fortunately, Jan didn't bother to default here, but he probably will now. So why don't you default? And then, let's see, Adia, why don't you use a potion? No, just one potion on you there. And Tiz, why don't you go half seats with a potion there? Hmm, I am surprised he hasn't defaulted yet, but now I know he's going to use Wolf Stance. So why don't we just go, well, maybe not all out, but almost all out here. Okay, so let's go Lightning Hammer. Let's see, Adia, you can just, yeah, I'll go all out with your trample. Magnolia, why don't you just do double lightning hammer on him? And then Tiz, use all your tramples there. Okay, so we get all that, and let's see, I think that'll be good. We're not going to take any damage. But we should be able to finish him off. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Ha <laughs> ha. And that is about as hard as the boss fights are going to get until the post-game, really. After this point, we become a lot more powerful by the time we get to the next boss and the remainder of the game. So, say goodbye to the game's difficulty at this point. The rest will be easy. And for defeating them, we get a new asterisk, the Fencer Job Class. And this is another really good job class, both for its support abilities and uh, their stats. You got pretty good uh, speed or agility there. Much better than the job classes we've had up to now. And you have those stance mechanics involved with it. I'll go into that eventually. But I'm not really going to be using it right now, I don't think. And we also get another asterisk, the Bishop, Bishop job class. Our first healing job class, finally. But uh, yeah, so you get the healing spells that, uh, what was that? That Nikolai had there before. And they are really, really good. What are you waiting for? Finish us off already. Well, go on if you say so. Jan, I can't. I, I just can't. Not a murderer. <laughs> you never learn, do you? Well, I mean, we did kind of murder Bella and Kahuman. Falcon Claw! Whoa! I... Ow. Holy Ew. crap. I didn't know he had that ability. That's a really good ability. That'll have to do. Let's scram, old man. Then shouldn't we follow them? Stop them. Do something. Do something. No, the skyhold is getting away. Do something. Jen, Nikolai. No, I guess we're not going to do something. And so our paths diverge. Follow the path you will, Master Yu. Even if it means that we must meet again as enemies. Are you trying to kill me or not? So long, Yu. Try not to get yourself off before we meet again. Nuts. Nothing we can do now. Might as well pack up our bags the and meeting. go home. That's all it takes. The whims of chance bring you together. Eyes meet. A helping hand is extended. And the course of your life is altered. Is this supposed to be something profound? 
You laughed together, cried together. You walked together down the hardest of paths. Not really, I was born rich. And then you had to say goodbye. Literally or figuratively? But do not abandon hope. Life is full of new meetings. And every new meeting is the beginning of a new tale. Oh, okay. And in this tale, these four will be your shining stars to guide you through your darkest night. Who is talking here anyway? Well, I know, but I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to wait a few hundred hours to figure that out. No, no, I'm just kidding, viewers. But yeah, after, well, after that, we've completed the prologue. And every time you finish up a chapter, you get this generic anime into a hole! Well, I guess they didn't want to show this before the betrayal. With all of them. Whoa! Where'd you get all those airships? Can we have one? I mean, we're at Central Command. We had a whole fleet of airships in the first game. I don't think they ever say what happened to the airships. Well, in any case. Well, don't got the pendant anymore. Well, I mean, we got a piece of it, but that's not enough. The Magic Emperor. Apparently pretty good with the sword, too. Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense for you to be using a sword there, given the build I'm using. But all I care about is the numbers. Not logical sense. So, I guess it would have been nice, but... No, nope, no. Nope. It's all about the numbers. Yeah, usually they put that kind of intro before the start of the game, or like a title screen thing or something. Like, uh, Gungnir or Hex's Force or something. Gotta answer the call of booty. Your JRPG protagonist. Hmm? The Who's sea there? grows angry. Hey, hey! Liam O'Brien is back! But nothing shall deter a swordmaster from his quest. Must have been, uh, not available for the demo, but he's back. Mark my words, Brave. You will be avenged. That's... I mean, good, good. Kitty! Patience, Tsubaki. We shall reach our quarry in due time. What quarry? But first, we must hurry to the aid of my pupil. Let us be off. Hey, hey! How do you know about all this? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm sure he'll say something about that eventually. I only went... The Skyhold is gone. Went through the main storyline once. So, I may not remember absolutely every single detail. You? Those two were your friends? Yeah, we fight all the time. More than friends. Jan and Nikolai were my closest companions. Not anymore. We were the three Cavaliers. Brothers in arms till the end of our days. Well, that can still be that way. But, at least, that's what I thought. I mean, we could, we could just kill them and be done with it. You... Forgive me, everyone. The Agnes's kidnapping? My friend's betrayal? This is all my fault. Uh, that's not how accountability works, dude. Don't put the weight of the world on your shoulders like that, you. You've had it tougher than any of us. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, you were sleeping in a tank for however many years. Because why you, no matter who turns against you, I'll always be here. Ah. 
Me too. After all, we're friends brought together by a common cause. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose we do. Friends. Thank you. I mean, Magnolia isn't really interested in our common cause. But, well, I guess she is now. Nah, don't mention it. Now, who's ready to go kick some Imperial behind? Eh, I've played this JRPG before. Onyes, can you tell where the Skyhold's heading? Oh, well, no. That is, it's difficult to say. Nuts. Can you see anything from the window? Anything that could give us a hint? I mean, it is Anya's. Her sense of direction is magical at times. It's Just an art the form. Of the ocean stretching as far as the eye can see. Nuts. Nothing but ocean. Hmm. What's this? A flock of migratory birds? What do you mean? Birds? What do they look like? Well, they got feathers and wings, I would imagine. They're quite striking, really. With green feathers, red crests, and long pointed tails. Hmm. That sounds an awful lot like the Harina Starling. Uh, sure. How do you know about that? Amazing, sir. Y you're a living, breathing field guide. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know how. And they seem to be flying south, or east, or is that west? <laughs> uh, you, you've you done enough, Anyas. You can take it easy now. <laughs> I see your sense of direction is as reliable as ever, Anyas. Ha ha. Forgive me. Oh, the air seems to be growing warmer and warmer. Oh, well, yeah, that usually happens in the desert. Anyas, that's a great help. Tell us if you notice anything else. I certainly shall. Thanks. Now let's put together everything we know. The Skyhold has left Eternia for warmer climes. Well, that's the idea. From the window, Anya saw a flock of starlings. That can only mean one thing. The Skyhold is bound for the continent of Arena. How will we get there, though? You got an There's airship? There's an ocean between us and Harina. We're going to need a boat. Maybe we could use a hovercraft. No. No, that's another game, viewers. Then we should go to the port in Gathladio. They'll have a ship for us there. Oh, really? Assuming that they haven't been all blown up. But all right there. So now, after completing the prologue there, yeah, we can do net friend invites, which I think we need in order to fulfill that tutorial quest. And, yeah, there's AI friends in the event that you don't have any real friends. Or just no one by you actually plays JRPGs. But what else do we got going on here? Gethladio. Oh. Well, yeah, a lot of it is, I suppose. Yeah, it wasn't even there in the first game. Well, I thought you had, like, an airport at your place. But, okay. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, we just never bothered telling anyone about it. Oh, right. Oh, okay, I would have thought that would have been... Eternia being much closer, but okay. Oh, okay. It was? Oh, okay. I would think you would know, but okay. Hmm, yeah, that's true. But, all right. As long as they set, don't murder people, we'll be good. We could at least start with that. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. I guess we're talking about food or something? I don't know. 
But yeah, unfortunately, we're, we are going to have to go all the way back to Gathladio from here. So that makes it a really good opportunity to uh, take care of the rest of the bestiary entries. But how are we going to get over to the continent of Harina? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!